In this section, we're going to look at three methods of measuring jitter on random data signals. This is a very uh, important measurement on sampling oscilloscopes as they have inherently have very accurate time-based stability. So here I have a STM4 signal clocking at 622 megahertz with uh, random data. So uh, the first method is to use um, cursors and just turn on some X markers and just do a visual measurement of the jitter. So this is typically measured at the eye crossing point. So I'll just position the cursors visually either side of the crossing point and then just do a delta time measurement. So the peak to peak jitter of this particular signal is about 80 picoseconds. So this is a very quick way of measuring it, but it is not the most accurate. So we turn off that. Second method is to use the onboard measurements to make this uh, measurement. So we're going to go into the uh, measurements menu and turn on the measurements. So this is a time measurement, so we're going to the X parameters. So here we're going to select the peak to peak jitter measurement. So the first thing I need to do is select which crossing point I want to do the measurement on, because at the moment the whole waveform is selected. So we're going to go back into the defined parameters and margins. So here you can see the whole uh, display is selected. So I'm going to bring in the left hand side and the right hand side of the box to make the measurement just on this first crossing point. So now we have uh, just that particular area selected and we can see now it has uh, set to the left hand and the right hand where it's making the measurement and again we see the same uh, measurement of 80 picoseconds uh, peak to peak jitter made via an automatic measurement. The third method is to use histograms. So we can just go back here and I shall turn off the, uh, this particular measurement and go back and turn off the measurements. So the third method is to use uh, histograms. So we can select the histogram menu. So again, there are we can do vertical measurements. So if you want to measure uh, amplitude noise and variation in the amplitude of the signal, that can be done. But here we're going to be measuring horizontal to measure time. So we he here we have a, a box where we can select where the measurement is being made. To get the very most accurate measurement, it's often advisable to zoom in to that particular area and get the best acquisition. So I'll move my measurement box very close in. So I'm going to now just zoom in on that particular crossing and make my measurement exactly at this point. So the box is positioned exactly at the eye crossing point. It's also possible to in increase the vertical resolution to get the best accuracy at that point. Uh, then just slightly adjust that up, up to that point. So this is probably the optimum setting for making this measurement. So here now we've got a lot of information. We can see the uh, peak to peak jitter now is, has gone down to 46 picoseconds and this is because we've zoomed right in and got the, the very best accuracy on making this measurement. And we can see the uh, standard deviation or the RMS value is uh, 8 picoseconds there. And there's some information about the min and max etc from the stats on this area. So this is the most uh, accurate way of measuring the jitter on this instrument.